Good morning. This morning I was reading in the Gospel of Mark. It's about the leper. It's just uh, something that we can apply to our own lives. The leper begs Jesus. He kneels down in front of him. And he begs him and he says, If you wish, make me clean. Kind of like, thy will be done. And Jesus says, I do will it. And then after he's healed, he says, don't tell anyone. Go off and show yourself to the priests and do as Moses prescribes. But in the face of that liberation, does he keep it to himself? Would you keep it to yourself if you were outcast from all your family and friends and your community and made to go live in some cave because you had leprosy and suddenly you were healed in one flashing miraculous moment? Could you contain that? No. It's impossible. It's impossible. It's joy, pure joy. But, let's contemplate a couple things here. One, this person is begging Jesus. And do we really know what begging is? I mean begging. Like there's nowhere else that you can turn. You've tried every medical treatment. You've tried every vitamin and and supplement and healthy lifestyle but now we're reduced just to begging Jesus if you will it and Jesus says I do will it but there's something going on here between his his brother who's in such desperate need he knows that it was only God it was nothing else but God it defies everything else Years ago, we were at such a place, and our need was financial. We were running a ministry for the art program, and we had run out of money. And I remember singing a song at church, and the refrain went, Bless us in your mercy. And my wife went up to our art center and knelt down that afternoon, and she just cried out to the Lord, Bless us in your mercy. The word for mercy in Hebrew is kesed. And as there's a lot more going on with that word, and I would um, challenge you to do a little research on kesed. It's, it's a giving when it's not merited, among other things. It's something that God says is at the heart of His very throne. He sits on the mercy seat. So I encourage you, brothers and sisters, we are all in various stages of need. But don't forget where the mercy seat is and who sits on it and what his name is. It's Jesus. Call out to him. And you can hear him say, I do will it. And be okay if he asks you to wait a little bit. He'll give you the strength to endure. That's the nugget for the day. Bless us in your mercy. Amen.